Okay guys, welcome in. And what we're going to be doing today is that we're looking through Lecturio. Now I'm going to do this because honestly speaking, my one year subscription expires in like 15 minutes. And I wanted to give you guys an insight on what it's like in case any of you wants to get the subscription. Okay, so let's go. So this is the homepage. And um, I have for the past year, I've been working with all this material. Um, what you do is that you ch you change your area. So I use pre clinicals by subject or by organ systems. So we didn't really do by organ systems. We did uh, we did by organ systems, but we also did by subject. So I just like so by subject, and I can now split embryology from histology, everything out. So histology was very helpful to me because it helped me understand concepts better. I did all of these um, then human organ systems, of course, excellent resources. Then um, let me go to something like physiology because that's where my that's my bread and butter. I would read the textbook. I'll come back here. But although at the end of the semester, I found out that I was coming less and less here. So it might just be something that you do at the beginning of the semester, just to get familiar with concepts. Then when you're getting stronger in your material, you don't even come back here anymore. So example, look at ectogen pancreas, low gastric kind of secretions. You click a video, it pops up. I like the fact that there's material alongside it. So you could download like the slides. And all this material is high quality. So one drawback from Lecturio is that I don't know the video codec they are using, but whatever it is, it takes a lot of um, data to get it running. So if your internet speed is slow, you'll be frustrated and you won't get anything. Whereas if I go right now to YouTube with this same internet speed, you see, yeah, it will work. So sometimes this happens and you might get frustrated. But how I overcame that was that I would just go to like a college or go to the library where the internet was fast and I would do my stuff there for hours, then come back to my hostel and read other things or just stay in the library for a bit. So I recommend Lecturio, but I didn't, I'm not using it anymore for now because I've passed the 200 level mark and I'm going to 300. And I think that God is leading me to a different system to use, but I just thought I should at least share my own experience because I know people are always asking Lecturio versus Osmosis and other things. So this is my experience with Lecturio. It has been positive. I've learned a lot. Sometimes I didn't use it as much as I would have wanted to use it. I I would like this is where I would like to go sometimes. I would just click here and go to like clinical practice. Go all the way to like clinical gen generic clinicals. And then when I go into clinicals, I can even go and do some physical examinations because I've gone through the physical examinations. Those are also really nice to see. So I enjoy I enjoy Lecturio. Um, do you, if you have the budgets, you can get it. But for as for a comparison between this and osmosis, I have not yet um, used osmosis extensively. What I would say about osmosis, osmosis is more like um, summary, big time summaries. This is like. Lecture is more like big time lectures of the entire material. They teach you all over again. Osmosis probably gives you somewhere what you're reading your textbook and different ones will apply for different people in different seasons of life. So um, I think I'll end this there. I enjoyed the physical examination sections. I enjoyed the um, topic by topic and I'll miss it. But hey, I have better ways to read now. I've grown a bit more and I feel like I can do a lot more. Well, the quizzes were also okay too, but yeah. So that's all for this video. God bless you and any questions you can leave them in the description below. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay amazing. Bye-bye.